writing decimal numbers in words. How do we read and write the following numbers in words? These are decimal numbers because they contain a whole number part and a decimal part separated by a decimal point. Let us take the first number and write it inside a place value chart. The tens place contains the digit 1. The ones place contains the digit 4. And the decimal point comes immediately to the right of the ones place. Then comes the first decimal place, which is the tenths place. In this place, we have the digit 5. Notice that the hundredths place and the thousandths place are empty. We can put zeros here, but that won't change the value of the number. So, how do we read this number? We know how to read whole numbers. This is 14. But when we see a decimal point, we have to say AND after the whole number. Remember, when learning to read whole numbers, we said we should not use AND because it refers to the decimal part or fractional part. Well, now we have a decimal point, so we should say AND. All right. So, now we have 14 and, of course, after and, decimals come next. To read a decimal, we can first think of it as a decimal fraction, with a numerator and a denominator. A decimal fraction is a special kind of fraction. Its denominator is always a power of 10 such as 10, 100, or 1,000. To find out which power of 10 we have, count the number of decimals in left to right order, but ignore any zeros at the end that are not followed by a non-zero digit. In this case, we only have one digit in the first decimal place. So the denominator is 10 to the power 1, or just 10. So the denominator of the decimal fraction is 10. And what about the numerator? It is 5. This makes our fraction 5 tenths. So we read the decimal part as 5 tenths. Okay, now we can read the complete number, 14 and 5 tenths. That wasn't so hard, was it? Try reading the next decimal number. Here is how it looks on a place value chart. The whole number part is easy. It is just 86. The decimal point comes to the right of the ones place. So we write AND to indicate that we have a decimal part. Now count the number of decimals. We have two decimals. So the denominator of the decimal fraction is 10 to the power 2, or 100. That gives us a decimal part of 12 hundredths. And the complete number is read as 86 and 12 hundredths. Now, try reading this number on the place value chart. The whole number part is 272. What about the decimal part? First, 
we count the decimals in left to right order. We have two zeros, then one four, and finally two zeros. But as we said, we should ignore zeros that are not followed by a non-zero digit, so we stop at four, and ignore the rest of the zeros on the right. Since we count three decimals, our decimal fraction has a denominator of 10 to the power 3, which is 1,000. The numerator is just the number in the decimal part, which is 4. So our fraction is 4 thousandths. And the complete number is read as 272 and four thousandths. In this lesson, you learned how to read and write decimal numbers to thousandths in words.